the beginnings, the, the 1930s and 1940s, at least as far as I'm concerned, that's as far as I look back at it. Uh, the, the U.S. military, uh, one of the earliest EMC regulations I'm aware of is the U.S. military first encountered RFI problems. We called them RFI in those days. Uh, when a radio was installed in a Jeep, primarily ignition interference with, uh, with, an AM, with an AM radio, as if anybody remembers some old, old cars. Okay? My first car was a 1939 Oldsmobile, so I'm sure that would have had some of that stuff in it uh, also. And uh, so as a result of that, the first military uh, EMC specification was published uh, in 1934 by the U.S. Army uh, with respect to uh, controlling ignition interference with uh, AM radio, okay? And uh, since then, of course, a proliferation of uh, military EM standards have come out in the, in the 1950 through 1965 uh, period, shall we say. Uh, each branch of the service published their own standards for whatever they thought was appropriate, whatever problems they were having. So what we had is a real proliferation of, of military uh, EMC standards. And I know when I first began to get into the EMC business, and I'll talk a little bit about how that happened a little bit later, but uh, the, the primary interest was the, with the military, with the EMC. Commercial people weren't too interested in it at, at that point. So the military kind of did most of the early work on, the, uh, on EMC issues, okay? Uh, but in, uh, in 1967, the military rightfully or wrongfully so, probably rightfully so, decided to consolidate all these different standards into one, into one military standard, and that's referred to as the kind of ubiquitous mill standard 461 series, okay? And they came out with standard 461, which listed limits, and the, the limits changed for different classes of equipment, submarines, aircraft, et cetera, but they're all in the one standard anyhow. And uh, MIL standard 462 was the test procedures, and MIL standard 463 was definition. So what we had is one standard just with the limits, 461, and 462 with how to do it, how to do the test, the test procedures. So a lot of people refer to that as MIL standard 461 slash 460, 462. 